What's up everybody, it's Seth from Fowler Customs and today I'm reviewing the brand new Chuck Taylor All-Star Flying It High. Thanks so much for tuning in today guys. Make sure to hit that subscribe button down below if you haven't yet, but with all that being said, let's get into it. So first off, huge thank you to Converse Canada for sending these shoes out and also sending me on a helicopter flight around Manhattan. That was crazy and you definitely have to check that video out. There'll be a link in the description and right above me. But seriously, that was crazy and I can't thank Converse enough for that because, whoa. So here they are, the Chuck Taylor All-Star Flyknit in this deep blue colorway. And the main difference between this and the regular Chuck Taylor 2 is that the entire upper is composed of Flyknit. One of my favorite things about the Flyknit is that although this is a solid colored shoe, sort of, if you look really closely, you can see all these subtle variations with lighter blues and darker blues woven in. I think it looks really sick. The same of course is true for the other colorways, but this is the only colorway I have and so this is the only colorway I can show you guys. The Flyknit itself is a little bit thicker than other Nike models like the Flyknit Racer and that's actually a good thing because it gives the shoe more support, which is good because a shoe like this that has an iconic silhouette needs a little bit more rigidity so it doesn't flop around when you're wearing it. Even though the Flyknit is a tighter knit, it's still pretty breathable and it's definitely more breathable than the canvas that they usually use. You've actually got this slightly thicker but also softer lining around the high wear areas of the shoe. Like like the lace areas and the top of the collar. The nice thing about that is that although the laces don't have eyelets, because they have a thicker reinforcement, they're not gonna pull out over time, which is really a good thing. I also like how it makes the collar a little bit more padded, so it's a little bit more comfortable. Moving towards the front of the shoe, you've got this fuse overlay on the toe cap where you usually have your rubber toe cap. Although I really like the classic look of the white rubber toe cap, I kinda like this fuse overlay because it lets you see through to the fly knit and that fly knit looks awesome, so I'm not mad at that. Of course, you've got your flat laces in a slightly darker shade of blue to provide a little bit of contrast. And if you want even more contrast, Converse actually gives you a white pair of laces too, if you want to switch them out. Moving around to the medial side of the shoe, you've got your Converse All-Star patch, which this time around is actually stitched on, which I really like because it gives it more of a premium look. There isn't a lot of padding in the upper, just like most Chuck Taylors. However, because this is a Chuck 2, you do get this really thick Lunar Lawn insole. This insole is one of my favorite improvements from the Chuck 1 to the Chuck 2 because the step in comfort is so much better with this insole. And the fact that it's so thick means you get some really nice response and your feet aren't gonna hurt when you've been wearing the shoe all day long. And of course, because it's Nike Lunar Lawn, it's got that Volt green going on, which isn't a bad look, but I'm glad it's on the inside of the shoe and not the outside. Moving down the shoe, you've got your standard Converse vulcanized midsole. Same deal as all the other Converse. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. And finally, moving to the bottom of the shoe, I have worn these shoes around quite a bit, so that's why they're so dirty. But you've got your standard Chuck Taylor traction pattern in all white. Overall, this is an awesome shoe, and I've gotta say it's probably my favorite Chuck that's released so far. At 110 bucks US and 130 Canadian, you are getting a lot for your money. You're getting Lunar Lawn, you're getting Flying It, you're getting a dope silhouette. I mean, let's be honest, it's a pair of Chucks. You can't really get any more classic than that. I do really dig this blue color, but I think I've got my eye on that black pair now. I think I have to grab that, because now that I've felt these guys on feet, I'm gonna have to get a second pair. So now that we've got the review out of the way, let's throw these guys on feet and see how they look. You know what, I was gonna do just a standard on feet and I will still do that, but I think I'm gonna throw in some of those shots from the flyover in Manhattan because uh, it was crazy. That's pretty much it for the video today, guys. Thank you so much to Converse for sending these guys out and sending me on that crazy flyover of Manhattan. Make sure to leave a comment in the comment section down below letting me know what you think of the Chuck Taylor All-Star Flying It High and if you're planning to grab a pair for yourself. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to Fowler Customs if you want to see more content just like this. And follow Fowler Customs on Snups, Instagram, and on Twitter.